Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. You know, one of my favorite flavor profiles for a hot sauce is a tomato and garlic based hot sauce. And when it's loaded up with triple the amount of garlic, that makes it even better. Now I've got another product review for Cobra Chili, Vaughn and Lisa of Cobra Chili. And this is their garlic habanero hot chili sauce, Cobra Chili, Face the Fury. Now just check out that beautiful label. Have you ever seen such a gorgeous label? Look at that with the foil lettering. Comes in these beautiful eight and a half ounce size bottles, but just look at that labeling. They put a lot of effort and thought and detail into their labeling and it shows, just gorgeous. All right, well let's go ahead and get into this one. Uh, Vaughn and Lisa make some of the best gourmet products that I have ever tasted. I just wish they were all available here in the United States, but unfortunately they are not. But let me go ahead and read what it says about this one. It says, this chili sauce is hot and has triple garlic. Yum. While Mexico is the largest consumer of this spicy ingredient, the habanero chili comes from the Amazonas region and its flavor and aroma have become increasingly popular all over the world. Once recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's hottest chili, it's 50 times hotter than a jalapeno coming in at about 300,000 Scoville heat units. Cobra Chili's garlic habanero chili sauce is fiery hot and extremely pungent with a distinctive fruity smoky flavor with loads of garlic. Food pairings, anything off the barbecue, red or white meat, chicken casserole, meatballs, Ned Kelly pie, don't know what that is, New York steak, something I guess uh, for Australia. Um, with their meat pies are very popular over there. Poached seafood, bacon and eggs, quiche, croquettes, or to liven up your pasta. All right, did they see pizza in there? Well, you can add pizza because I know it'd be good on pizza. All right, let's go ahead and get into these ingredients, guys. And once again, all of their, their sauces are premium all-natural sauces made with 100% whole foods. No artificial preservatives, no artificial flavors, no artificial colors, no water added naturally gluten-free. Now this one's made in Australia from at least 85% Australian ingredients. Now here are the ingredients guys. Fresh tomato, fresh garlic, fresh red jalapeno chili, 15%, fresh onion. I want to make sure, is that, um, yeah, fresh onion, sugar, vinegar, sea salt, citric acid, and spices. And I thought this had 30% chilies in it, but I guess it is just 15% because that's what it says on the, the label. All right, let's go ahead and get into this one, guys. Check this out. Beautiful red color. Love the consistency on this one. Not too thick, not too thin. Very, very pourable. But a beautiful red color. All right, let's go ahead and check this one out. Now, I mistakenly said before that all of his chili sauces are made with 30% of the pepper that's in there, but I guess I was wrong. This one has 15%. But let's check out this aroma. Oh, man, garlic. This smells absolutely amazing, guys. Love it. Rich, aromatic garlic, garlic, garlic. I love that tomato. Uh, tomatoey type aroma as well. Mm, the smell you can smell a little bit of sweetness. Onion and garlic. Man, I just love tomatoes, onion, and garlic in a hot sauce. And this one has loads of garlic because you can really smell it. It's the second ingredient after tomatoes. Oh man, it smells good. Let me just slightly pick up on the um, the habanero. I love that fruity aromatic type aroma from the habanero. I can smell it just a little bit. There's some other type of spices in here, but I don't know what they are, but it's not salty either. It's got fairly low sodium for the serving size, but let's go ahead and show you what it looks like, guys. Garlic habanero from Cobra Chili. Now this one pours a little bit quicker, so it's not real, real thick. But here we go. Now, as soon as you put it in your mouth, you can you get the sweetness. It's not overly sweet, but there's a good amount of sweetness to this one. And then the garlic. The garlic just fills your mouth all over. Then the nice tomatoey onion, 
but loads and loads of garlic. I just love that. So aromatic, so yummy. And then the sting and the fire and the slight fruity flavor of that habanero pepper. And as you're talking, you get that fire that the habanero pepper brings. Super, super delicious, guys. I mean, if you love habanero and you love tomatoes, onion, and garlic, oh, this is outstanding. So fresh tasting, so clean tasting. Nothing artificial about it. No xanthan gum. Just clean, fresh ingredients. And boy, does it does it show. You can really, really tell. Now, let me show you what I did with this one, guys. I put this on my, my breakfast sandwich. Now, this time I had some country ham, a fried egg, some of my homemade pimento cheese, and put that on a Bay's toasted English muffin, loaded it up, <laughs> poured a little bit too much, but that was okay because it was super delicious on my breakfast sandwich. Yeah, everything they say this would be good on, I totally agree with. Grilled meats, lasagna, chicken casserole, pasta, uh, pasta alfredo, anything Italian. Oh, this would be fantastic. Burgers, tacos, burritos. This is just your all-purpose garlic habanero pepper sauce just outstanding love this stuff now on heat on this one i think i would put this one at a um maybe a low five five out of ten on my one to ten scale so it's about the medium level for me uh but yeah for the average person you know it's not used to really really hot product or food or sauces it definitely this is hot so you've got this one labeled correctly but super super delicious so check this company out guys Give me a like on Facebook. I'll put the link for the uh, website in the description. It's cobrachili.com. They also can direct you from that website to the USA website of what they have available. They do have some products available um, that you can get here in the USA, so check it out. Vaughn and Lisa, thank you so much for uh, letting me review this. I do appreciate it. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more, and until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.